Assalamu alaikum. Many other Americans have Muslims in their families or have lived in a Muslim majority country. I know because I am one of them. But my father came from a Kenyan family that includes generations of Muslims. As a boy, I spent several years in Indonesia and heard the call of the Azan at the break of dawn. But I have known Islam on three continents before coming to the region where it was first revealed. That experience guides my conviction. You, you are absolutely right that John McCain has not uh, talked about my Muslim faith. As the Holy Quran tells us, the Holy Quran teaches that, the Holy Quran tells us, and the Holy Quran also says, we will convey our deep appreciation for the Islamic faith, which has done so much over the centuries to shape the world. I would like to speak directly to the people and leaders of the Islamic Republic of Iran. Your great and celebrated culture over many centuries, your art, your music, literature, and innovation have made the world a better and more beautiful place. We know that you are a great civilization, and your accomplishments have earned the respect of the United States and the world. I also know civilization's debt to Islam. It was Islam at places like Uluzara that carried the light of learning through so many centuries, paving the way for Europe's renaissance and enlightenment. It was innovation in Muslim communities that developed the order of algebra, our magnetic compass and tools of navigation, our mastery of pens and printing, our understanding of how disease spreads and how it can be healed. Islamic culture has given us majestic arches and soaring spires, timeless poetry and cherished music, elegant calligraphy, and places of peaceful comp contemplation. They have fought in our wars, they have served in our government, they have stood for civil rights, they have started businesses, they have taught at our universities, they have excelled in our sports arenas, they have won Nobel Prizes, built our tallest building, and lit the Olympic torch. And when the first Muslim American was recently elected to Congress, he took the oath to defend our Constitution using the same Holy Quran. In ancient times and in our times, Muslim communities have been at the forefront of innovation and education. Islam is not part of the problem in combating violent extremism. It is an important part of promoting peace. The enduring faith of over a billion people is so much bigger than the narrow hatred of a few. In the United States, rules on charitable giving have made it harder for Muslims to fulfill their religious obligation. And that's why I'm committed to working with American Muslims to ensure that they can fulfill Saka. It is important for Western countries to avoid impeding Muslim citizens from practicing religion as they see fit. And I consider it part of my responsibility as President of the United States to fight against negative stereotypes of Islam wherever they appear. We are no longer a Christian nation. We do not consider ourselves a Christian nation. Or the United States has been enriched by Muslim Americans. Since our founding, American Muslims have enriched the United States. Islam has always been a part of America's story. There is a mosque in every state in our union and over 1,200 mosques within our borders. You know, one of the points I want to make is, is that if you actually took the number of Muslims, Americans, uh, you know, we'd be one of the mo largest Muslim countries in the world. Let there be no doubt, Islam is a part of America. He did bow to the Muslim king while he did not do it to the British Queen of England. And by bowing, he showed the world that I am subservient. I do owe, uh, bow down to you as a Muslim king, something no other uh, president has done with Saudi Arabia. The Saudi king is his peer. He is not his subordinate in order to bow for him. And this is exactly what Obama did. Usually it is out of respect that someone would nod his head when bowing to royalty and the ladies will give curtsy. 
But Obama went beyond what is required as a head of state and bowed to the Saudi king, and that's unacceptable. Right, why, it sent the wrong symbol. What, when you say it's saying it sends the wrong signal, what signal do you think it sends? It sent a message that Islam is superior to any other, other master or king or president in the world. That an American president bound to a Muslim king. It also sent a message that terrorism and jihadism is giving Islam the respect it, it should have on the world stage to the point that it made an American president for the first time in history bow to a Muslim king. I said this once or twice, but it bears repeating. And you can keep your plan if you are satisfied with it. If you like the plan you have, you can keep it. If you like your plan and you like your doctor, you won't have to do a thing. You keep your plan. If you like your health care plan, you'll be able to keep your health care plan. If you've got health insurance, you can keep it. If you like your health care plan, you will keep your plan. If you've got health insurance, you like your doctor, you like your plan, you can keep your doctor, you can keep your plan. If you have insurance that you like, then you will be able to keep that insurance. If you like your doctor or health care plan, you can keep it. If you like your health care plan, you can he- keep your health care plan. If you like your health care plan, you can keep your health care plan. If you like your private health insurance plan, you can keep your plan. If you like your health care plan, you can keep your health care plan. If you like your private health insurance plan, you can keep it. If you want to keep the health insurance you got, you can keep it. If you like the insurance plan you have now, you can keep it. And if you like your insurance plan, you will keep it. So if you like your plan, you can keep your plan. If you like your plan, keep your plan. If you like your current insurance, you will keep your current insurance. If you like your plan, you can keep your plan. If you like your plan, you can keep your plan. If you're happy with what you got, nobody's changing it. Well, look, Jackie, this is something that I've struggled with uh, throughout my presidency. The problem is, is that, um, you know, I'm the president of the United States. I'm not uh, uh, the emperor of the United States. Uh, my job is to execute laws that are passed. And Congress right now uh, has not changed what I consider to be a broken immigration system. Mm-hmm. And what that means is, is that we have certain obligations to enforce the laws that are in place, even if we think that in many cases the results may be tragic. If you've been successful, you don't you didn't get there on your own. You, you didn't get there on your own. I, I'm always struck by people who think, well, it must be because I was just so smart. There are a lot of smart people out there. It must be because I worked harder than everybody else. Let me tell you something. There are a whole bunch of hardworking people out there. If you were successful, somebody along the line gave you some help. There was a great teacher somewhere in your life. Somebody helped to create this unbelievable American system that we had that allowed you to thrive. Somebody invested in roads and bridges. If you got a business, that you didn't build that. Somebody else made that happen. The internet didn't get invented on its own. He's not authentic like me Yeah, the guy from the L.A. paper Said he made guilty whites feel good They'll vote for him and not for me Cause he's not from the hood See, real black men like Snoop Dogg Or me or Farrah Khan Have talked the talk and walked the walk Not coming late and won Oh, Barack, the magic Negro, lives in D.C. The L.A. Times, they call him that, cause he's black but not authentically. Barack, the magic Negro, lives in D.C. The L.A. Times, they call him that, cause he's black but not authentically. 
Some say Barack's articulate and bright and new and clean. The media sure love this guy, a white interloper's dream. But when you vote for president, watch out and don't be fooled. Don't vote the magic Negro in, cause... Cause I won't have nothing after all these years of sacrifice And I won't get justice uh, This is about justice This is about me, it's about justice It's about uh, buffet, I'm gonna have no buffets And there's gonna be any church uh, contribution And there ain't no cash in the, in the collection plate There ain't gonna be no cash money No walking around money, no folding money Now he's